what, what's your baby? What's your event where you feel like you identify the most? What's the one where you feel like this is my one? Um, well, I love the hunt fly. I've just always enjoyed doing fly and, um, it's my, probably my favorite event. Um, but the Toronto free is probably the event where I would put the most pressure on myself for, um, probably because it was the first event that I really took off in, um, when I was like 20 or 21. Um, and it's probably also the event where I know that I could, I can just do so much more in as well. So yeah, that would be the event that I um, would consider like my baby kind of thing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I can, I always, um, you know, I was always coaching girls in college. So I was trying to figure out how to get them to swim a good long course, 200 freestyle. So most of the girls I was coaching, you know, we were aiming kind of, 159 you know 158 maybe but how on earth do you swim a 154 200 freestyle i have no idea how to coach that so how how are you so good in that event what do you do that is so much better than all these other girls out there um it's definitely a hard event to get right because there's just so much pacing to it um but i go out really i go out very quick in the 200 um i think because i'm uh, also a hundred meter swimmer like I use that easy speed uh -huh. and that first hundred does just come so easily um and no matter how fast I go out I'll still come back like if I went out a second slower than I do I'd probably still come back um it would just I'd have the same energy coming back so I need to go out fast just to be able to keep carrying it through in that second hundred um but yeah I guess Bolly does a lot of um, lactate and lactate removal stuff. So I think that definitely helps me in the 200. And um, yeah, it's definitely a hard one to pace and got to get a lot of practice in it. Give me an example of a set that you would do. Um, maybe you've done a few times that, you know, you know, gets you ready for that 200. Um, probably the lactate removal stuff. Um, we do like pace 50s. Uh -huh. um on little sometimes 50 um like last night we did um 850s four ones removal 650s four ones removal then 450s four ones um descend one to four um so that stuff i reckon like gives me a lot of confidence um going from the pace stuff and then through to doing a hundred at not as fast pace um but still like working pretty hard, um, knowing that I can hold on for those hunt four ones after. Um, yeah, that gives me a lot of confidence. So when you're doing, give me some times that you do on a set like that uh, at your best. Um, when you're doing those fifties, what are you trying to hold there? Um, 28 low, like around 28, three, I'm trying to hold 28, three. And this is, this is long 50s. course we're talking right now. So, and yeah. so you do those fifties, you hold 28 threes, and then you get to your hundreds. What are you trying to hold on those hundreds? um well when we get down to 30 below i try and hit around 101 mm -hmm. um when i'm going well um so obviously not at the moment we're not really at peak fitness but when i'm we're back in full training that's the 30 below that's what i'm trying to get to um so when i'm hitting those times like just piecing those sessions together, one after the next um yeah that's just the hard work is what gives me confidence 